I'm Dr. Ravi Sankaran. I'm a professor in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at the Hospitals in Cochin. Today I want to talk to you about a common problem that we treat, which is herbs palsy. Basically, it's an injury to the nerves that supply the arm in an infant. When do we have this? When do we find this? We typically find this after delivery. The baby is delivered and we find they're not moving their arm properly and it's usually one side. So once this happens, a parent's first concern is what's going to happen next? How will this improve? And this is really important information that you should know. For the next three months, from zero to three months, what we find happening is that the muscles that are not working will slowly start to recover, provided it's not a complete injury. For the next three months, months four through seven, we find that the muscles that are now supplied start working and they may or may not be working normally. And then from there, eight months to 12 months, we're going to start training function. With all of these injuries, provided it's not a complete injury, the babies will start to move their muscles and move their arm. Any movement is a sign of recovery, but we want specific muscles to activate. When you take a patient with herbs palsy, typically they can't lift their arm up. They can't bend their elbow. They can't turn their palm up. So when we see these three movements, and the fourth one, this, moving their hand up, those are all signs that this is recovering well. And when a baby starts to show these movements, we have to train these to become a function. It's not just to see a muscle activate. In the first three months, with babies who have this problem and we start stretching and doing rehabilitation exercises, they may not cooperate, they might cry. It's very important to do the exercises and it's very important to prevent problems from happening. The next common problem we find happens somewhere from about four months on and it's basically where the muscles that have always been acting prevent the newly supplied muscles from working. And typically what we see is a baby who can now lift their arm up, but they can't go all the way, even though the muscles and nerves have healed. The next problem we find is that parents don't get the correct re rehabilitation program. And this is a very common problem. We find people who come in at six months, 10 months, 12 months, and they're still just stretching out the arm. This is not going to train the brain that controls the muscle to provide a function. These are all the things that lead to poor outcomes in the long run. babies will heal on their own, but if we don't train that limb to behave like a normal limb, it's not going to behave like one. So, most of our children, about 60 to 80 percent, will improve and they don't require surgeries, but occasionally surgery is required. So, when is surgery required and what is the purpose of it? When we see a baby from zero to three months where all the nerves have been destroyed, and they're not conducting on a nerve conduction study or an MRI study shows us that the nerves are broken, these still can recover. But if they don't recover, somewhere after three months, we begin to think about uh, surgeries for the nerves to reconnect them so that they can grow. This is usually done between three to six months. If we're not doing surgery at that time, we don't have to worry about it until again maybe two to five years. And at the age of two to five years, what we plan for is a plastic surgery intervention called mod quad surgery, where we move muscles around to provide function. Again, by two to five years, if we're not doing this surgery, Next interval for surgery comes out to be after 10 years where we can move different muscles around to provide specific functions. The bottom line though is whatever you do as far as surgery, you must come back and do rehabilitation 
you should be doing rehabilitation exercises before and after these interventions. Whatever happens, you'll have to come back to do these things to train that muscle to do a function. No surgery is a cure for these problems. It's always going to be functional retraining that leads to a good outcome. I've had patients come at the age of 16 where they've been neglected, they've not received proper care, their arms are in various stages of deformities. We can still get those arms to function properly provided the nerves have reached the muscles. The end of rehabilitation is at two different points. One, when a family is happy with the outcomes they've had, or two, we've achieved enough function where a person can use that limb for their daily activities. The most common problems we find that affect good recovery are the following. One, many families are afraid to take responsibility for their child's outcome. So they'll hire a therapist who may not be qualified for treating these kind of conditions. That eventually leads to the child not getting the care they need and eventually a poor outcome. The next thing we find is the wrong treatment per the time frame. Every three months the program should be modified and revised according to how the child is recovering. We often have parents come at one year, they're still getting electric stimulation and no one has taken the time to train the functions or make that limb do something useful. The last problem we find is fragmented care. People go to one place, they go to another place, they have two or three different therapists, they see someone who does a nerve conduction study and finally they come to us. When you have fragmented care, you're not going to have uniformity of care and that will lead to problems um, with training the hand to function again. I would strongly encourage you to find a place that provides comprehensive care so you can have the best possible recovery. In Amrita Hospital, we've been doing this since 2009 and we have a whole group of professionals who work together to make sure you get the right outcome. Um, to close, I'd like to say, this is your child's arm, it's the rest of their life, please start early.